Thank you for joining us on this holiday weekend. For many Americans, this is a time to connect with family. But for some in New Mexico, reuniting with family is a lot more difficult this year after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. A lot of Ukrainians here in our state, they are making sure that their families across the world are not forgotten. Tonight, we're sharing two different stories of the challenges they face. We begin with Lauren Green, who's showing us how an MMA fighter is using her talents to fight for her family and her country. I like the way she's fighting from the waist down to good angle. Look at that. Lina Ovchinyakova has dominated as a mixed martial arts fighter for years. And she's not only dominated in MMA, but she's a 14 time world champion in kickboxing, Muay Thai, and mixed martial arts. She trains here at the famous Jackson Wink MMA Academy in Albuquerque, home to many fighting champions. While Lena is rehabbing from different injuries right now to continue her career in the octagon, she's also battling a different kind of fight outside the cage. My family in Ukraine now, in Dnipro, and uh, now it's not so safety. Every day after they, um, rockets come, and not so safety. <laughs> Lina, a native Ukrainian, is nursing herself back to fighting conditions every day while carrying the weight of the war happening in Ukraine right now, where her family sits in the city of Dnipro. Just months ago, Lina was in Germany getting surgery to fix her blown out knee. And on that same day, the war broke out in her country, leaving nowhere for her to return. After she heard the news, it was earth shattering even causing complications during her surgery. I had some problem with my surgery because my blood is uh, down and uh, pr pressure, <laughs> um, pressure blood. And with nowhere to go, she came back to this gym, a place she had trained just a year ago. Right now she's on a refugee status. Although she's far away right now, Lynn is in contact with her family often and supports them in Ukraine through her career. I call him every day. I make money here and uh, I sent um, my family and uh, for Ukrainian soldiers. Lynn has even raised money through auctioning off things on her Instagram that boast a following of over 62,000 followers with all the money going to Ukrainian aides. Michael, general manager of Jackson Wink, holds Russian roots and understands the magnitude and tension of what's going on overseas. He scouted Lena as an athlete for years before she came to Jackson Wink and they hold a special connection partly due to Michael's father. My father was from Ukraine, uh, from the uh, town of Lviv. Uh, it's a small but historical city. Lena living and fighting out of the same city Michael's father was from created an everlasting connection and a sense of home. When she inquired, wanted to come here to get ready for one of her fights, I was very excited for the fact that I uh, don't have any more. My father passed away, you know, so, uh, and I was like, she's my only connection really to that world, honestly. So it was kind of pretty cool to know that she's from there. Now, Lena just waits to be healthy again, rehabbing every day while keeping a fighting mindset. When she's coming here to do something, like she's always in pain, but she pushes through it. Lauren Green, KOB4.